hello everyone again and welcome to my channel in here we're going to be looking at the motion of a particle in a non-uniform magnetic field and now in our previous video we talked about uniform magnetic field with respect to a charged particle and how that charged particle actually generated a helix motion and how we actually realized that you know what we actually need to determine the velocity not based on the velocity component that is parallel to the magnetic field but the one that is perpendicular to that of the magnetic field now in here we're going to be looking at something a little bit quite similar but a little bit different because in here we'll be looking at a non-uniform magnetic field now the question is how can we generate a non-uniform magnetic field now in here an example of this is this particular diagram in here and what we see is that we have two coils one coil and the other coil at the other side and we have or will pass in current in this particular coil and also on the other side of the other coil over here and what we realize is that it will pass a current along this particular coil and that coil will generate a magnetic field that is non-uniform where you have this motion of a magnetic field moving in this direction and then you get to the midpoint in here where we see a little bit of a huge bump here and then you actually get to the other side where all the magnetic field is actually passing through this other side of the coil now once that actually is generated then we put in a charged particle in that magnetic field and what we see is that this charged particle shows us the geometry of this magnetic field by its motion we see the motion going this way then coiling over like a helix but then it's kind of about to explode but then it comes back a little bit to this other side over here take note that the motion is kind of a back and forth movement in here because on one side when you're going towards a strong magnetic field you then approach a much more slower one and then it goes back and forth back and forth in respect to these two coils that are actually positioned in here now one question is is how is the motion actually determined with respect to the magnetic field and how that actually determines the force that is generated in here now we look at this particular part here let's pick this reference here and we realize that if the particle is moving in this direction we're like hey if your magnetic field is actually moving this way then the tangent of this particular curve is actually giving us the velocity so the tangent velocity is this over here and this particular arrow here represents our magnetic field at that particular point now if we use a right hand rule and we check out our angles going from velocity to magnetic field what we realize is that we generate a force that is into this particular field in here which is our force here now let's pick another point as well here if we pick another point which is this point over here what we see is that if you're moving in this direction what we see is that oh the velocity is pointing in this direction while your magnetic field is actually moving a little bit in this direction right there and what we realize is that hey by our right hand rule we see that our force is actually pointing in this direction over there this is another force in here now let's pick another point again if we pick this point what we realize is that if you move your particle going this way and you approach this region over here what we see is that our velocity is going to be in this direction and why our magnetic field will point in, in this direction over there what we then realize is that if we do your right hand rule what we see is our force pointing in this direction here so what do we expect or what do we what can we say about this force and that force and this force over here what we realize is that all the forces within each particular point of the motion of our charged particle is actually pointing towards the center of this particular 
flux which is the magnetic field or, yeah, or the center or in the midpoint between those coiled one and coiled two over there so this particular shape here is known as the magnet thick bottle and this magnetic bottle is called that way because for charge particles can be trapped in this particular situation in such a way that our magnetic field can actually reveal itself when you're seeing the motion of our charge particle going back and forth back and forth now that's about it for this particular video please hit the comment down below let me hear your thoughts about your understanding of this now and how the force is actually generated moving from one point to another with respect to the position and the motion of our charged particle in this non-uniform magnetic field in here. Thanks for watching. Hit the comment down below. Let me hear your thoughts. Hit the like, share, and subscribe. And be smart.